Right, hello everybody. This week's camp is in a place in the Lake Districts, Honiston Slate Mine. It's absolutely fantastic up here. I am recording off of a GoPro camera, so any bit of noise difference or position that can uh, the camera, please do bear with me. First time using a GoPro camera. Let's look at that. Hills and more hills. We are going to be trying to head up there. I'll show you that in a minute, but I just want to turn around and show you down here. Yeah, beginning of this year and maybe last year, I talked about going to be camping in different places this year. And this is the first one we're going to be doing. We're going to be hiking up the hill, going along for a couple of miles, finding a camp spot, setting the tents up and taking in the views, hopefully. But let's check this one out already. Wow. <laughs> it's fantastic here already. I'm enjoying the view. I'm enjoying everything. There's a road just down there, I think you can see it. And today we do have Oscar outdoors with us. Hola, mi amigos. And my oldest lad, Kieran, hiding behind his hood. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> you need to be up there first, then Soft. you can say it's cold. Soft one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look how grey the clouds are. Right, so that's it, we're off now. Other two lads, they're either here and set off before us, or they're not turned up. So now we're just gonna make his way up, I think. Can't wait around too much for them. Just the fog is starting to come in quicker and quicker now. So still on the hike, out of breath, wind's picking up a little bit, but once again the view is outstanding. That's out the last lad. Blowing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we've hit the quarry. I think that's a tailings pile. There's an old metal hut or shed there. Yeah, this is like just very fine pieces of slate. Tons upon tons of them. Yeah. So I just come across this. This is what causes all these hills of slates. I think a lot of people know by now, but here you get the rock crusher I think right, it all falls onto there from that conveyor belt oh there's the crusher Without falling everywhere. Oh, yeah. Get 
size this piece of equipment. Yeah, rocks will go in there into the feeder. That'll crush them all. And it'll end up going in that conveyor belt there, as you can see where my lad is. And they'll feed and they'll throw it off in different directions there. You see these on the program Gold Rush. And that's where it'll all be coming from. They'll just be taking chunks out of the wall there. Right, so we are looking at one of these bovier things. Apparently on map it shows that there's one around. So we are going to try hunting it down and just have a look, see what the space is like inside. And then we'll decide if we're tent camping or we're going to sleep in that. I've tent camped a lot, but I've never slept in one of the bovies. So hopefully when we get there, it's decent and you know, we can all come to it right. You know, same conclusion, but it'd be a good idea to sleep in there for the night. But just behind me, the mountains, everything, amazing. This is what I want to do this year, and this is what I will be doing a lot more of. Who else is live streaming right now? <laughs> live stream, do you get it? Right, so my lad's on the run a little bit. He's found the uh, bovey, if that's what you call them. Legging it past these two old fellas. There's an, uh, a nice stream running through the bottom of the mountain there. Or hill. Some people say they're not exactly mountains because they're not big enough, but if you ask me, these are massive. Uh, we're coming to it now. I wonder if anybody's inside it. I map it, it's got stabilization mode on this. Because if not, you would be wobbling all over right now. Right, we'll get down and we'll bring you back. Right. There you Yeah, my lad's right. You can smell cannabis really strong. Oof, very strong smell of cannabis, that. Someone's been. Got a little burner going. It's nice and warm in here, though, isn't it? This is what it's all about, isn't it, people? <laughs> Exploring, going different places, coming across things like this. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube coming across them, but this is the first time I've ever stepped inside of one. This is fantastic. You know that there, Kevin? <laughs> right, so just we're having a little stop here. I'm just going to make a meal, because I am hungry. I don't think I need that pot holder, actually. So yeah, I'm just going to get a meal together. So 
So I can have one of two meals. Here I've got a chicken, Chinese chicken stir fry. Got it from Lidl, cooked it, put it in these little seal bags that I were on about in one of my previous videos. Or I can have a beef stir fry. Or if I just want something quick and easy, in this one I've got sausage and salami meat, but I plan for that one to be my breakfast. So, I'm sort of looking forward to the beef stir fry really. So we'll get this in the pot as the water's boiling. So just while Scott's recording for his channel, I thought I'd bring you out and show you a few things around the little hut. The view from a doorway. <laughs> <laughs> you know some things really chuckle me and this is one of them we're just like looking on the map seeing if we're on target to where we need to be then we'll come across this little hut here quite chuffed like I've just said it's the first time I've ever come across one on the channel the views are just amazing aren't they if you like this sort of stuff and you've got this far already and you're not yet subscribed do consider hitting that subscribe button plenty of stuff to come in the summertime there's a massive walk up that mountain up there or hill wherever you want to go i get mixed up hills or mountains how big do they have to come before they become a mountain sort of thing anyway that big thing over there that's where i'm going to be coming up doing a solo hike and that's the reason why i've got myself the new gopro camera so it's nice and light and I can just walk around and not have to carry the phone and other things like that. But if we don't stay in this little building, the foot let's say, down there probably look like the next best place. Yeah, I'm thinking down there's gonna probably be better really. But like I've already said, if uh, these two decide to, they want to stay in the hut, then we'll stay in the hut. I'm quite impressed that, that the stove still works inside it. There is another side of it as well, so I'll take it over so you can see that. Look at that cool little fireplace. through my window <laughs> there you go a little look out of my window for you that would be a view for anybody There's a few extra items here. Someone's left a pasta carbonara meal. That's nice in case you're caught up in here and out to eat. These little candle holders to give light into the room. They've left some toilet roll, some uh, hand gel, more toilet roll, some money. Look at this little light here. And if it works. Turn it off where you don't need to use that light. There we go. Another pen, a glove, some tape, candle, and a little tester if any bad fumes come off at the stove. Yeah. 
some instructions if you're having a toilet outdoors. I think this is saying dig a hole, carry a spade up with you. <laughs> Through health and safety things, the cord, I think it's just keep it how you find it really. Some more information there. Right, so I decided to cook the beef stir fry. I think this has got some uh, this stock thing in it as well, what I added, to give it a bit of extra taste. Because last time I tried these, we re warming it, it dried it out a little bit. I've never stayed in one of these before, I've never even seen one. I'm quite excited to be here to be true for you. Simple things, simple minds. Hmm. Making these pre-cooked meals for things like this is amazing. I'll share the link to these bags in the description, just in case you want to go look at them. And the uh, the bag sealer, because these are ziplocked. But what I did is I went, I got like this bag sealer, and I went over the top of it again, just so in case. I don't think you're going to be able to see it on this one. It's on the top here, just in case like that zip come open. I didn't want the food going into the uh, my bag or whatever else I had it. So I'll, sh I'll share the link to that as well, so you can see what I mean by that. What I have noticed about Amazon is, when you share links and stuff, and if people keep going to the links that you share, then they put the price up on the items. So if you're thinking about looking for some of these bags, and you're an early bird to the channel, so what I mean by that is if someone who watches the channel, you know, as soon as it's uploaded, you'd have to go get some pretty quick. My lad's just, Sat in the stove warming his hands up. These meals. Mm. Right. I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, so I just made myself a drink out of the water that I boiled my meal with. I did think that the writing on the pouch, what I writ it with, a marker pen, I thought that might wash off and go into the water. Look there. Oh. Good, good trek here. All uphill as well. Leg burning, calf burning. Lung burning. <laughs> Lung burning for Scott. <laughs> yeah we can't really go much further really because if we do we're gonna to have to go up a massive hill and uh, i don't think any of us want that now Absolutely. it's coming on to nearly four so if we went up there and decided you know we'll go back down to the place it's a bit bit of a track and we, it starts getting dark soon as well so we don't really want to be going too far to change his mind we will go to the bottom to see what that grass is like for the maker's mind up. Well, I've just been for a hike over to other hut thing to see if other two lads we're supposed to be camping with. But I can't find them. Uh, fella said they set off 15 minutes ago to go somewhere else, so they'll let us know where to camp. So we are staying a night in this hut anyway. There's Scott, my lad, there's a couple over that side and there's another couple going to be over there. But everywhere we go, the ground's just too soggy to put tents up really. So I'm glad we came across this place. Get a few bits set up. So I've come outside now because I've just been warming up my next meal. Chinese chicken stir fry. The reason I've come outside is there were a, a man and woman in there and then uh, another couple turned up and then there's us 
free so it's like there's too many people in there for me just to start talking you know when when recording I thought I would just come out enjoy my dinner outside now, I always like to have a chat I don't I don't just want to not say anything now for the rest of the night mm. It's nice to be at a spot like this. If you I follow me to the channel, you know full well I used to be like woodland only and then experiment made a little bit out, you know, here, there and everywhere. And like I says, this year I'm just gonna go to different places like this. Could be once a month, twice a month, I don't know. But I am gonna do some hikes as well in different locations. Sorry about that. Yeah. The problem with places like this is as well. We were always set up mindset we we're gonna camp here. And then just as it started getting dark, these other people turned up so it was a bit too dark then to say, come on, we'll go find somewhere else to camp. So our mind mindset what to camp there anyway. But it's a like a free house, isn't it? Anyone can turn up and camp whenever they want. It's not for me to say, you can't come in, you can't come in. Well, I'm here. Turn camera off now, finish eating my dinner. And then go back in for a bit. If anyone's interested in the setup, I'm using my uh, outdoor vital sleeping bag. I would have used that in the tent because it's a good winter sleeping bag, so I'll probably just use it as a throw over now. And then I've got my Yortor air mat. I've used it a couple, I think it's called Yortor anyway. Uh, 5.8 R8 value. I've got that one. So that's one of set up within the tent. I'll bring you back in a bit, somehow. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, not the best sleep at all. Sleeping in them hut things. It's a lot different to sleeping in a tent. With a tent, you know, obviously you've got your own area. You can move around as much as you want. You know, there were two, four, seven of us in there and one person stopped snoring, then the next started. <laughs> and I was just like, damn, this is a bad idea. Anyway, I've got my breakfast, beans and salami meat. A little bit of a different sort of thing to have with beans up for breakfast, isn't it, salami meat? and black pepper as well. Hmm. If you're watching this far, I know quite a few people will be. Uh, let me know what picture quality is like this morning. That's it, beginning the video. Recording off the GoPro now. Better quality, got some mics on board, better sound hopefully. But when you're having your breakfast to that view, there's no else what you need really. For me. Let's take a look at that. The position that I'm sat now, that is what I see when I'm eating. I think it's a lot better to clear the footage today. I think last night was getting a little bit too dark. Even though I complain about you know, too many people and snoring, it was a different type of camp.
Right, so that's us making tracks now. The atmosphere in there were a little bit like intense one. It's got because <laughs> of our snoring, wasn't it? Yeah, because I think it's our snoring woke them up. He said, "You know, we didn't complain about his snoring." <laughs> <laughs> he said one stopped, then other started. The that's when I fell asleep. One stop, stop, uh, stop snoring. <laughs> but yeah. You could feel atmosphere at morning time, I'll put it that way. <laughs> right, I'll show you a couple of more views before we get to the bottom. What I'm thinking is next time I'm gonna come up there. See, that? there's a slight path I can see. I don't know how I can see it on camera. And then make his way over, probably that lump over there, or I'll just bring some bivy bags and camp on top of that hill. Or if possible, that one over there. But we are set on that one a little bit more, really. <laughs> Smile. You can't walk away from me. <laughs> you don't want to be on camera. So we've only got down there to go now. Back to the car. It's a lot easier in the morning. It's all downhill. <laughs> right, so we made it back down to the car. Uh, good experience this, it just shows the stuff we can get up to this year on the channel. I'm just uh, putting stuff away in the car now, wherever it is, there we are. And then we'll be on our way home. So I'll share some things on the screen here, you can hit this here, if you want to subscribe to my channel, to see what I do get up to later on through the year. And I'll let YouTube recommend a video there for you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>